everybody, it's Gail from thehappystamper.com. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. I have kind of a different video for you. I'm going to be doing a Bible journaling entry, and I thought it would be fun to show you my process. It's Sunday, my family's upstairs watching football, and I am just finishing up the By the Well for God Redemption Unwrapped Kit. Um, and this is a monthly devotional kit that uh, it's not a subscription or anything. You just purchase, you know, the kits each month. And they are wonderful. And the goodies that come in these kits are amazing. I've been using them for quite some time. And it's really fun. So I thought I would share with you today uh, my day 15. And this is talking about a new heart. And so I am going to be doing an entry in um, Ezekiel 36:26, which reads, And I will give you a new heart. I will remove the old heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. So that is what I am going to be uh, creating with, if you will, today. So... Um, I am using, this is my hardcover Bible. This is the NIV Journal with the Word Bible. If you can see that, I hope it shows up. Um, it's hardcover, and I have gone back to this one. I go back and forth. I have several different Bibles, and this is what I'm going to use today. I've got some supplies here on the left. Uh, so yeah, I'll just kind of talk with you about it as I'm working through it. I always make sure to use a map, a uh, mat, <laughs> not a map. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to be using products from the kit. I've got some Di Distress Oxide inks here that I'm going to be using in coordinating colors. This is Fossilized Amber, Broken China, and Pickled Raspberry. And I'm also going to be using the Tim Holtz this is the stencil, uh, and I don't know what the name is. Oh, Snowflakes, Layering Snowflakes. It's a Tim Holtz one that you can purchase through the Buy the Well for God uh, online store. And then I've just got some doodads here, bits and pieces that I thought would be fun to use. So yeah, I'm just going to do the baby wipe technique. <clears throat> and I'm going to start with my crackled paint and I just pick it up like so and I am going to just I want to make sure that I am in the right place here Ezekiel 3626 36 see I was on the wrong side I moved from my opposite side of my table I was on my other desk over there so okay so I'm just going to take my uh, stencil and just make some pretty snowflakes and just kind of figure it all out as I go, just very easily. Nothing too difficult here. I love the look of that. So I think what I'm going to do here, you guys, so you don't have to just sit here and watch me color, is I think I'm going to put you on fast forward, and then I'll just discuss the products with you that way. So, okay, let's go. Okay, so I am just using the Tim Holtz stencil here and my Distress Oxide ink to color different snowflakes and I'm showing you there you want to make sure that you clean off your stencil really well before changing to a different color. You don't want to get any mixed muddy look uh, when changing different inks. So make sure you wipe that off really well before going on to your next color. And I'm showing you here some different die cuts from the kit that I'm using. I loved this kit so much that the imagery was adorable. I'm also using a stamp from the kit that says New Heart. So I'm just using my really super heavy duty tape runner here to adhere my uh, die cut pieces. 
and um, you know just sprinkling them around the page. With some memento dye ink I'm stamping my sentiment and it says new heart. I turned it over and inked it really well and you get a good impression that way. I'm here doing some little faux washi strips with stickers that come in the kit as well and they're super fun. I've decided to try and put them in the binder section too of the entry. And so I am going to underline my verse here that I am uh, journaling about and going to add more of this sticker slash washi. I don't have enough to do the whole page with the cute multicolored, so I'm going to put that in the middle and then add the two solid blues to each end to give it a little bit of variety. And that's just a fun technique to kind of pull the whole page together. Super cute, super cute kit. This was a great one. Okay, I am going to draw some wonky lines here where I will come back in later and add my journaling. And I'm going to trim off the hangover of the die cuts on each side. You can see there I added a cute little bow clippy as well. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. As always, big hugs from me to you.